starting off with the first one. That's Bluestacks 5, probably the most recognizable name when it comes to Android emulators, and honestly, for a good reason. It's super lightweight, boots up fast, and doesn't slow down your system with unnecessary bloat like the older versions used to. Even on a mid-range PC, it runs surprisingly smooth. No weird stutters, no crashes while loading into a game. What genuinely surprised me, though, is how well it handles newer games. It already comes with updated key mapping for the latest titles, so if you're someone who jumps on trending releases the moment they drop, this emulator's got your back. And performance-wise, it's really well balanced. From casual stuff like Clash of Clans to heavier games like MOBAs and RPGs, it stays stable. But if you're all about competitive FPS titles, hold on, we've got something better coming. For everything else, though, Bluestacks 5 is an excellent starting point. Secondly, we have Game Loop. Now, if you're into competitive shooters like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, or Free Fire, this is where things get serious. Game Loop is built specifically for FPS games. It used to be called Tencent Gaming Buddy, developed solely to run PUBG Mobile on PC. So you can imagine how much optimization has gone into it over the years. And honestly, if you look around, most gamers playing mobile shooters on PC are using Game Loop. The moment you launch a shooter on it, you'll notice the difference. Higher FPS, tighter controls, and smoother aim response. It feels Feels way closer to playing a native PC game than any other emulator I've tested. Another thing I love is pre-configured key mapping. No wasting time setting things up manually. It already knows exactly what you need, especially for shooters. But if you're picky, you still get full control to tweak every detail. Now it's great at what it does and delivers fantastic performance for FPS games. But for casual or heavier titles, like Genshin Impact, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, Game Loop is a bit heavier than Bluestacks, so on lower end PCs, you might have to adjust in-game settings to keep things buttery smooth. But if you've got a mid-range or better system, it delivers fast, fluid, and focused gameplay. Next up on the list is LD Player 9. Now I know, this one doesn't always get as much hype as Blue Stacks or Game Loop, but it seriously deserves more attention, especially if you care all about stability. Like, even during longer gaming sessions, it doesn't overheat your system, doesn't lag out randomly. It just runs smooth. And for games like racing titles or open-world RPGs, RPGs where stable frame rate really matters, LD Player 9 performs brilliantly. Now, about the key mapping. It's good, don't get me wrong, but not quite as advanced as what you get on Bluestacks. Some of the newer games might not have pre-configured layouts, so yeah, you might need to tweak a few things yourself. Also, and this is something a lot of gamers will appreciate, LD Player actually feels made for PC. Unlike some emulators that just slap a mobile screen on your desktop, this one has a clean UI, no weird ads, and it doesn't spam you with pop-ups every two minutes, like some other emulators do. So yeah, if you want something stable, smooth, and ad-free, LD Player 9 is definitely worth a shot. Moving on to the last one, we have the Google Play Games emulator. Now, this emulator is officially launched by Google, and honestly, it runs incredibly smooth, especially on mid-range and even some low-end PCs. But the thing is, like, it doesn't offer every game from the Play Store. So if you're hoping to play PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile, you're out of luck. They're not available here. Free Fire, though, that's a different story. If you're a Free Fire lover, this one's got you covered. It runs flawlessly. No lag spikes, no performance dips, just smooth and stable gameplay. For the key mapping, it's just okay. Not as advanced or customizable as what you'd get on other emulators, but it works well enough for the titles it supports. The controls feel a bit different here compared to other emulators. If you want a full walkthrough on that, you can check out my this video. And since it's made by Google, the updates are consistent. The stability is rock solid, and compatibility keeps improving with time. So if you're after an emulator that's officially backed, lightweight, and runs like smooth butter, Google Play Games, emulator is absolutely worth trying. So here's the deal. Picking the right emulator isn't just about specs or features, it's about how you want to play. Some of these give you pure stability, others give you control, customization, or that smooth 60 FPS you've been chasing for ages. Now, if you've made it this far and you're still thinking, yeah, but my PC can barely run Chrome, forget emulators, then hold up. I've made a separate video just for low-end PCs with setups that actually work. Trust me, it's not clickbait. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you still have any questions or need any help, you can always do the comments. See you in the next one. Bye.